All right, let's fire this thing up. To the boat ramp. Now I'm going to trim down this engine a little bit so that I can fire it up. And what I want to do here is I want to demonstrate something for you. Watch what happens when I give this thing a little bit of throttle in reverse. Notice how the transom is kind of digging in to the water. Well, what's happened is I've lost some of my maneuvering characteristics of the boat when I am in reverse and I don't like it. Well, good deal you made it. Hi, I'm John Braviscus. It's great to have you back aboard the boat with us again. Let me real quick introduce the craft that I'm operating today. This is our recently restored Mako 228 project boat. And if you recall, a while back, we went ahead and we installed a set of gas-assisted kind of like spring actuated trim pads to the transom of the craft. You see, whenever we were up on plane and we were running, the nose was very high out of the water and we wanted to change the attack angle when we were running up on the surface of the water and that's what trim tabs are for. Now the reason that we went with these gas assisted trim tabs is that was the only product that we could find to do the job. You see, I have some space restrictions on the transom of my boat where we have the hull bottom and the distance between that hull bottom and where my aluminum engine bracket sets. And when we're up on plane and we're running them forward, these things have really done the job. But what I've noticed is after I've been using the boat, whenever I'm backing the boat into the boat ramp or when I put the boat in reverse, I'm trying to maneuver around the dock, I lose a lot of maneuvering characteristics of the boat. It kind of digs in, the transom kind of digs in, and I don't like that. And what I've done is I've talked with one of the leading manufacturers in trim tabs, and they've done me a huge favor. They've actually made some custom actuators for me that will now fit on the back of the boat. And today on Shipshake TV, we're gonna show you how to install them. But guess what? Before we get into any of this stuff, shoot, you know the drill by now, you see we need to work out a little trade-off. We've got to get all of you to spend the next 30 minutes with us right here on this beautiful water. And then in exchange with, again, the help of a few of my very knowledgeable friends in the marine industry, we're all going to be pooling together in order to do our very best to let you in on a few more ways to make your boat ship shape. Ship shape TV.